Hello, Cancers. Let's look into what your person is thinking, feeling, wanting, what action they might be taking towards you over the next couple weeks or so. We'll just see how the cards play out, see what the cards want to say. In the last reading we did, I got for most of you that you were you're starting to be true to yourself. You were being a little bit more authentic than you've been in the past. And you were starting to manifest your warrior. You know, you were starting to, since you're being true to who you are, you're starting to manifest your, you know, your person, somebody who's actually going to match you. Whereas before, it's like you kind of maybe played games or played hard to get, but then you were attracting people that only wanted you when you were playing hard to get. They didn't, you know, they liked the idea of you, but they couldn't handle the reality of you. They didn't actually really genuinely know who you were. Um, and now that you're being more authentic, you're attracting more authentic people. You know, you're being braver, you're being stronger, you're being true to yourself, and so you're attracting that in potential partners. I think you've done a lot of work trying to manifest love into your life, and it's finally happening for you. I, I do see that energy coming through. So let's see what the cards have to say. Could be a new person coming in, an ex. Um, we'll just see what the story is. For the Cancer viewers, what is going on with your love life? What do I need to know about here? What is the story here? What do we need to know? What is the story? Please be clear and direct. Okay, this is good energy. I like this. The full Six of Cups reversed, Seven of Cups reversed, King of Pentacles, the world, Six of Wands reversed, the Sun forward. So it's kind of like, it's kind of the same energy I got before in the last reading that we did. You know, with the Six of Wands reversed, it's like Six of Wands upright would be, you know, public recognition, success, um... It could also be in the negative side of that, though, the need for attention, the need for the need to, to be in the spotlight, the, the need to always have the upper hand, the need to just this, this excessive focus on appearance and, you know, power struggle. But with the, um, I feel like you've completed a cycle. See, with the six of wands reversed, it's like you've completed that cycle. You're, it doesn't mean that you can't wear makeup or that you can't care about your appearance at all. I'm not saying that, but the energy I get from this reading is somebody who cared too much about those things. It's like somebody who was just kind of faking confidence. Like they were, you guys were like seeking, you wanted to be genuinely confident, but you weren't sure how. And I think that you were just so scared of being vulnerable and letting go and being open. You kind of have this like, Meant like almost like a kill or be killed mentality. Like you just kind of have this mentality that you have to like be in control of everything. And with the sun, I see you letting go of those control issues. It's like you have this this outward appearance of confidence, but like inside you were hurting. You know, you were upset. You you felt alone. I think because you weren't being your true self. You know what I mean? Like you you were out of touch with your soul. You were out of touch with who you really are. But it, it's really beautiful because with the world here, I feel like you just learned something through that. I think that you just went through a really important life process. Um, you're, you're going through this transition right now, basically, where you're coming out of that energy and you're being more genuine and you're, you're willing to be vulnerable again. You're willing to be open again. You're willing to be introspective again. You're willing, you're, you're, you want to get back in touch with your soul. You know, I think you're realizing that in the past, being in that six of wands energy where it was just all vanity, all ego, just power struggles. It's like you had these fake friends or fake lovers. It's like they liked, it was just lust, you know, it was just vanity. It's like they liked the appearance that you put on, but they didn't actually know who you were. And for a while, it's almost like you, you lost yourself so much with these people that you didn't know who you were either. Um, but it's a beautiful process because you learned a lot through that. You learned that those people aren't your real friends. You learned, you know, if you just dated somebody, you learned that that person didn't really understand you and didn't know you. Um, and you're getting in this energy where you're like, you just want to be true to yourself above all else. And that energy is what's manifesting true love into your life. You're working on yourself now, I feel. And 
you're you're developing genuine confidence you're you're really going inward and thinking about what needs to be healed you know there's it's like there's a difference between walking in the room and like having to compete with everybody and having to act like you're the shit and just um focusing on appearance and then there's a difference between that energy and like walking into the room and just having this genuine confidence where it's like you don't need to compete you just know who you are you just love yourself it's like this genuine love it's like a gentle but very powerful energy, but it feels genuine confidence. It's like, even though outwardly they might appear similar, if you really get in tune with that energy, there's there's such an energetic difference between genuine confidence and just like vanity and ego, you know what I mean? Um, and so, so yeah, you're doing the healing work. You're being introspective. You're, you're thinking about what needs to be fixed. You're thinking about what you need to do to be the kind of person you want to be. Um, and so you're developing this this genuine, real confidence. You know, you're finally going to have the base for this confidence. So it doesn't matter if you're wearing a shitload of makeup or no makeup at all. If you're wearing sweatpants or a dress or whatever, it doesn't matter. You're just, you're going to love yourself no matter what. That's the stage that you're getting to. But again, you had to go through this kind of process of not being who you are and not being true to yourself to find out who you are. You know what I mean? Like it was like almost experimental. You're like, okay, actually this doesn't feel right for me. This doesn't work for me. This doesn't, this energy, like I don't feel like myself. I feel alone. And so you're to that point where you're like, you know, you don't want to go back to that. You're, you're the sun you're looking forward. And, um, yeah, with the fool, it's like you weren't allowing yourself a new start and six of cups reverse. It's like, you weren't allowing yourself to be nostalgic, to be emotional and open. Um, maybe like behind the scenes you were but like you weren't you had this power struggle with people around you or you just had this kind of like fake friendship so it's like you couldn't express those emotions to anyone really um there weren't like a lot of people you felt you could trust seven of cups reversed again not letting yourself dream um not letting yourself like make choices that you know need to be made on a soul level and uh it's like you're getting back in touch with this energy where you're like, you know what? I do want these new starts. I do want to allow myself to be nostalgic sometimes. I'm human. It's okay for me to feel. It's okay for me to be vulnerable and open. It's okay for me to be a dreamer. It's okay for me to be all these things. I'm going to be true to myself above all else. And I kind of feel, okay, so for some of you, you're letting go of the king of pentacles that was holding you back and you're completing this cycle. And this he was part of that energy that was kind of like you couldn't be yourself with him or her. And you're getting past that. But for a lot of you, I actually think that you have this warrior energy coming in. This is a stable man. This is, or woman, again, don't get caught up on, on wording. Could be male, male, could be female, female, could be male, female. That's however it resonates with you. I know I say that a lot, but I want to remind you guys of that again and again, especially for new readers, new viewers coming in, that this could be gay, lesbian relationships. It could be straight relationships. It's just well, however it plays out. You know what I mean? You could be a male watching this for a female. So just, um, you know, the roles are reversed in that case. So just take the energy how it resonates. Anyway, I think that this King of Pentacles is coming in and I think for the majority of you, for those of you that aren't letting go of someone to letting go of a specific king of pentacles to move forward, um, for like 80 to 90% of you, I actually think this is a new person coming in. This is like a warrior energy. This man is stable. He's grounded. He's, I think he knows what he wants more. And I think in the past, when you were in that fake energy, you were kind of attracting fake people, you know, you were attracting people that liked, the glamour, you know, they were enthralled by the glamour, but they didn't actually like know you. They didn't, they didn't genuinely love you because you weren't, well, I mean, you weren't showing them who you were for one thing, but they also were pretty shallow people and they, they just, they were attracted to the glamour and they were attracted to how you were kind of playing hard to get. It's like, it's like a power struggle with some people in your life, I feel, where it's like they wanted you because you just, that energy kind of pulled them in. But once they had you, it's like they just took you for granted. You know what I mean? It's just these very shallow relationships. But now that you're in this energy where you're being true to yourself, you're attracting the right person. You know, you're attracting, you're showing your soul. You're showing who you truly are. And that energy is what's going to draw in people that love you for who you are. You know, just being true to yourself. You know, you wear a mask and you're going to attract people that are drawn to the mask you're wearing and, you know, don't actually want the real you. So it's really good that you're being yourself finally. Um, yeah, I think this King of Pentacles is coming and I think he might actually be helping you with this process. I think that you, 
I think that he kind of, maybe he's going to see through all that or he's seen through all that. This could be someone you just met or somebody like an ex coming back around. Um, however the energy plays out, it's somebody who knows you. It's like one of the few people that just really knows you. Like you can't put on a front with them. You know, this person is stable, grounded, loyal. This person is more balanced. They're not, you know, with other people in the past, it's been like a power struggle, like chaser, chasey games. This person is just kind of more consistent than that. And I think that energy is helping you end that cycle. You're like, you know what? I have something real here. I have somebody who actually I don't feel alone with. I have somebody who wants me. That's, you know, that's helping you get past this energy and be like, you know what? I want to be my true self. I want to show this person who I really am. I don't want to play games with this person. I don't want to pretend with this person. You know, I want to move forward with this person. I want the sunlight. This person is like your sun, your rock. There might actually be a lot of male viewers here too because I'm kind of seeing, because I know I'm getting more and more male viewers and I'm kind of almost seeing it like, like you're the king of pentacles and you're more grounded and stable because of this person that's come in. And so you, this is like your angel, your rock, your, your safe space. You want to move forward with this person. Um, but again, for others of you, again, male, male, female, female, male, female, however it plays out. Um, for others of you, it's just, yeah, this warrior coming in and, and he's making you want to move forward and want, want better for yourself and for your life. Um, and you're, you're, yeah, it's, it's good energy. And I think you're also, you're going to realize if you haven't already that this person isn't going to play games like other people have in the past. I think I talked about that a bit in the last video. This person isn't really, they're just not going to tolerate the games. I'm going to pull some more cards to get some more um, clarity on this King of Pentacles here. But yeah, this person, they're just, they're not going to play the games like other people have in the past. They're not going to, if you go all day without texting them, they're just going to let you. They're not going to, you know what I mean? Like, they're not going to do, um, if you play hard to get too much, like, there's, like, a balance. I mean, you can, you don't have to text them back right away, not saying that, but, like, if you overdo it, they'll sense the power struggle energy and they're not going to like it. You know what I mean? They want their partner in crime. They want an equal partnership. They don't want to have to play games to keep you. And they don't want you playing games either, you know? They're just, they're going to want something more genuine and stable. And it's going to kind of throw you off because you're, you have, I think that you've, you have this pattern that you're breaking now, this like way of doing relationships, this way of like always trying to stay on top of things, always trying to have the upper hand. And this person is going to come in and just throw all that off you're going to be like holy shit this is like this could be a twin flame coming in or a life partner actually because i'm because this is this person is gonna mark a before and after pro, a period in your life is what i sense is this person is just going to be so different i think again i think this is somebody that you're meeting in the near future or it's somebody that you've just recently met and it does the energy does feel close it could also be an ex that's coming back around if you know who that is but it doesn't seem like it's too far away. But yeah, this energy is like, it's going to mark a before and after period in your life. And if this is your twin flame, keep in mind that you might go through a whole like ascension and awakening process, which with the energy I got, that makes sense, you know, that you, you had to have those learning experiences and now you're being kind of catapulted into this new energy, especially with the lion's gate coming up on Saturday. That makes a lot of sense. Um, so keep that in mind. If you, if, the, if this is your twin flame, you're meeting your, the psychic awakening process is scary. And if you are going through that, I do like to help people through that. I won't charge you anything for that. Just comment below, you know, um, mine was scary. Mine was terrifying. I, I started remembering my past lives. I started going into trances. I came into all this power. I, I, you know, I would go into these trances in the mirror, I thought I was going schizophrenic at first. Like I thought I was just, it was all this power, all this energy at once. It was, it was exciting. It was wonderful and beautiful, but it was scary too. I thought I was going crazy. I did not, I've never experienced anything like that in my life. Um, and you know, my guides gave me proof that everything that I was experiencing and seeing all the visions, the dreams, the channeling, the trances, all of it, they gave me proof in the physical world that it was all real multiple times they gave me proof over and over again so that I knew that I wasn't just crazy but I just I just want to tell you guys that because I know 
you know, the ascension, the awakening process, all that, sometimes it just comes in all at once and it can be really scary and overwhelming. Um, so you're not alone in it. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's a good thing. Ultimately it's, but you, you do have to learn to ground, to balance, to protect yourself. Um, you know, this energy and power might just come in all at once and just kind of throw you way off guard. So, and again, if you need help, if you're going through that, just comment below. I'll, I'll give you whatever advice I can. But yeah, I'm picking up that this could be a twin flame for a lot of you because it's like, or a life partner, because it's like this person comes in and it's just like, they're not going to do relationships the way that you usually do relationships. They're not going to do the games. They're not going to, they're not going to do the whole hot, hot and cold thing. They're not going to be seduced. You know what I mean? They're, they're going to know who they are and what they want. They're going to be very strong, very confident, very sure of themselves. Um... And you're not going to know what to do because you're going to, because it's, it's just, it's going to be so different. It's going to be so different than other relationships that you've had that you're not, you're almost going to be like awkward. Like you're not going to know how to like interact in this relationship. Like you're not going to know how to communicate with this person. You're going to be like, what the, what? Like they're going to say things or do things that are just going to like throw you off. Like you're going to, you might try to like seduce them or have the upper hand and they're just going to say something that just shuts that down so quick. And you're just going to be like dumbfounded. Like what the fuck do I do now? <laughs> like you're just, you're not going to be used to this energy, but it's good. It's beautiful. It's like, they're going to push you to be your genuine self. They're going to push you to let go of everything that's not you, everything that's fake, everything that's holding you back. They're going to push you to let it all, let go of all that and just be vulnerable and be true to who you are, you know, and you got to remember the right people are going to love you for who you are when you're being your genuine self. That's, that's, yeah, that's the energy you want. So let's look into really quickly, just, well, can you tell me about the King of Pentacles? What else can you tell me about this person? Definitely sends a twin flame energy. Obedience, success, movement, high priestess of fire. Okay, I get a couple things from the obedience card. For one thing, I, could, I get this could be like an alpha male or alpha female type. Because um, I see, okay, obedience, I almost see like, I'm getting like a sexual energy from the obedience card. Like if you're like submissive, I kind of feel like this person's going to take control in bed more than people have in the past. Like you're going to, I feel this kind of sexual energy with the obedience card, not in a bad way. Like I don't see them being a, like, I know sometimes that comes off wrong. Like, what do you mean? I'm going to be obedient to this person, but it's like obedience in the sense that they're just like going to take charge in the bedroom. It's like a sub dom kind of relationship. Um, I also, for those of you that are not submissive, um, there's another meaning to this card and you, both meanings could apply to you or one or the other. But, um, for the other meaning, I feel like, I feel like it's saying your success lies in finding a balance. Like you're going to have to realize you can't do things the way that you've done them in the past with other people. This is a whole different kind of relationship and that what you've done in the past is not going to work. So you're going to kind of need to like find a balance, um, and, you know, figuring out who you are, who you want to be, um, just just finding a really good healthy balance i think is is where that success lies i think in the past you've probably because with how guarded you were i think you've probably been hurt a lot which everyone has but you know you know it's normal but i kind of feel like maybe in the past you were like kind of jumped from one one extreme to another like you're just super vulnerable and clingy with people or you were like cold and distant and just kind of like aloof and just had this power struggle and always wanted to have the upper hand you know what I mean um so it's like finding that balance like being vulnerable but taking things slow and getting to know someone better um and kind of keeping your guard up a little bit while you're still getting to know somebody like feeling somebody out going on dates getting to know each other but not like completely shutting them out or like being super vulnerable and clingy right away. You know what I mean? Like there's a middle ground. There's a balance between being logical and being a little reserved, just a tiny bit reserved until you really completely know somebody. And um, 
you know, being emotional and vulnerable. So it's like you're going to have to kind of rethink and redo how you do relationships. And you're going to have to come to like a better middle ground so that you can have healthier relationships. And that's going to be more successful than what you've done in the past, I feel. And then you have, yeah, you have this forward movement. I think it could even be that your guides might be waiting to bring this person in until you have mastered this balance because they don't, I mean, every, anyone's going to get like freaked out a little bit if you're getting like obsessive and clingy within a week of knowing them, you know what I mean? And I think you're going to feel so vulnerable with this person and you, you felt alone for so long that I think it's going to be hard for you not to like get like that with them. You know what I mean? Um, but then it's like you get hurt and if they are if they're not reciprocating right away or they're they're taking things slower, I think you like misunderstand people sometimes and like overanalyze and you're like kind of you get triggered easily, I think. Um, and so it's like you, they don't want you to go to that extreme of like either clinging on to this person before you've really fully gotten to know them or being distant and guarded with them and playing games. You know what I mean? Because this person is going to want a stable, healthy relationship they're going to want open communication they're going to want to take things at a regular pace not too slow not too fast they're going to want to really get to know you to take you on dates and and so they're they're not going to tolerate a codependent energy and they're also not going to tolerate a cold guarded distant energy they're not going to tolerate the games they're going to again they're going to be so different than what you're used to and they're going to want more from you so i almost feel like your guides are kind of working with you right now um to help you find that that healthy balance, help you be yourself, help you just making sure that when this person comes in that you do it right, that you don't sabotage this by going from one extreme to the other is basically what's going on. And once you've once you've gotten that, once you're like in tune with that energy and you're really just being true to yourself, I do feel this person coming in and moving forward. And with the fire energy, it could be pretty fast too. It's a very passionate, very romantic, very loving relationship, but also very stable, very grounded. But it could be... Um, Again, could be a twin flame that you're going to have this awakening with. That you, you just you have this fire energy. So it's a good reading. Thank you guys for watching. If this resonates, please go ahead and subscribe and share my videos out. Thank you.